Hello, my name is Rebecca Crawl, and I am the one who made this cool thing. Now, um, you might notice that there are lots of spaces here. This is something I just don't understand why, but I'm just going with it. So that is on when you click on pages on the side of your canvas page. This is the front page that shows up, but if when I go to my actual home page front page, all the spaces are taken out. Don't know why, I'm sure there's a logical reason, but I do not know why. So what I'm gonna show you is how to make a table like this um, in your Canvas page so that it looks all nice and neat and pretty and organized. So um, I can make another video and I'll explain also how to make the buttons um, in another video. So here we go. I tried this like five times to make sure I got it right. So what you're gonna do is you are going to make a new page. I just put mine as an example. I do wanna say that if you make, if you ever make any changes in the title of your Canvas page, like let's say you've made your page and you've linked it to um, something and then you're like, oh shoot, I misspelled this word, I need to change that. Once you do that, that link is broken. I had to learn that the hard, hard way. So just kind of an FYI, um, once, if you ever change the title of your page, um, you'll need to change your link as well. Okay, here we go. Here's the fun stuff. So I'm going to go center because I like to center things. I'm going to go right over here to table. I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to go across. Now you can make your table as big as you want. Just for time purposes, I'm just going to make mine four by four. So I just highlight those boxes and then click it. There's my table. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to highlight these just in case. I really don't know if you have to, but I'm going to. Um, here are all kinds of different setting things for your table. You want to go to the first one on the left. It's called Table Properties. You're going to click on Table Properties. Here's where you're going to mess with some stuff. Um, I messed with stuff to try and make my my table look right without the spacing. So I just kind of messed around with it and came up with this. So for the height, you want to put 661. Don't ask me why. I don't even remember how I came up with that. Border, you want to say zero. I want mine to be centered. When you go to advanced, right here, border style, you want to click hidden. I don't know. None may do the same thing. I may be like double tripling up with what I'm doing because I have um, no border right here, but I don't want a border on it. So then I'm going to click OK. Now, here are my, here's my four by four table. So you can still see the table lines here, but they will be invisible. All right. So here I'm ready to add my first image or button. So I'm going to click center because it looks good to be centered. I'm going to click images. If you have not uploaded an image, you can, you would upload it right here, but I already have lots of images uploaded. So I'm just going to click this first one and put it in here. Makes it, when I put it in there, it makes it huge. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on it so it turns blue and then you're going to use these corner things. And again, I don't know how I came up with this size, but you want to change it to 215 by 215. You obviously can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, but um, that's just what I use, use for mine. All right. So, and now I'm going to click in the next box. I'm going to click center. I'm going to take this and click on it again. I already have a picture there. Click on my image. And again, I'm going to change it to 215. All right, 215, oh, so close. Ah, 216, close. Let me go 215, because I don't know, maybe it makes a difference. Oh no, I can't get it to 215. So I'm going to say 218. I'm changing this to 218, because I don't know. It may make a difference, it may not. I don't like to, um, I don't like to mess with the canvas gods. Okay, so for time purposes, I'm just gonna click copy and I'm going to paste this exact same one down here. Edit, paste. You probably don't want the same button for each thing, but if you did, hey, this is a great little uh, a little um, time-saving hack, I guess. But there we go. So here we go. I have all four um, buttons into my uh, table. Now, now what you're going to do is you are going to take this right here on the end here and you're going to shrink it as small as you can like that. So as far as it'll go. So that's like eh, as far as it'll go. All right. And then you're going to click save and hopefully, <gasps> yay, there they are. 
So I will say I did a couple other times and like two of these were big and one was small. I don't know what I did. So I made, did that, did it a couple times just to make sure that I did all of it correctly. And so it ended how I wanted it to. Again, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't understand the technical reason why, but that's what, what I have done to make this right here. All right. So hopefully that is helpful. It also turns out very well on um, the iPad. So um, that is that. So hopefully that was helpful. I'll make another video on how to make these buttons. Thanks for watching.